This is what Swift Crescent looks like. Some neighborhoods are unrecognizable, even for those who know them best. 724, 722. They have painted the numbers on the on the sidewalk so we know which is which and who's who. Residents of Jasper have been allowed back into town since Friday, free to assess the damage inside homes still standing and just to take it all in. It's really, really hard to walk through this. Through the weekend, 800 residents visited the re-entry site in town, a place to check in about utilities, pick up cleaning supplies, or to get in touch with volunteers. Like this nonprofit team of veterans, they sift through rubble for homeowners to recover sentimental or unsafe items, like this ammunition box. So there's still many that have never seen their property uh, since the devastation, since the fire went through. So, so a, a, a broad mixture of uh, emotions. The wildfire still burning in the national park is now considered held, meaning it's not expected to grow. The town is no longer under an evacuation alert, and businesses in the area are reopening. Parks Canada welcomed back visitors to these hot springs. The owners of this backcountry cabin site are getting back to work while dealing with the loss of their own home in Jasper. I have a younger sister, so she's nine years old. She loves the mountains. She loved our house and all of her friends at school. Um, so that's really important for my family as well, is making sure that she can get that kind of normalcy and structure as soon as possible. Right now, only residents and those helping to rebuild are allowed back in Jasper. It'll be a while before visitors can return. Looking around behind me, the park is still here and it's still absolutely gorgeous. And uh, when the time is right, we need you to come back. Just not yet. Sam Sampson, CBC News, Edmonton.